hey guys welcome to this tutorial and today I'll be showing you how you can create and edit text files using C++ alright so the first thing you need to do is include a new header file and that's called fstream well this header file pretty much actually allows us to use some of its functions and classes so let me show you alright so the first thing we need to do to create a text file is type in offstream space and create an object of the class offstream from the header file fstream so say if out then if out dot open so alright so if you don't have a text file already created in my case so it will uh, automatically create a text file of the name which we are going to give here so say my text file dot txt and now if you want to write something in the text file you just need to type in f out uh, two lesson signs codes and between the codes you can type anything you want my first text file alright so let's just test this program alright so now if I go into my directory you can see there is a text file called my text file dot txt and if you open the file you can see the exact words which I wrote here my first text file has been written over the text file now if you want to read from the text file just need to create another object of the class if stream so if in the open my first text file I hope that's the text file name my text file it's my text file not my first alright so now if you want to read from the text file just need to create a loop until fn is true so until the fn is true it's gonna read every line of the uh, of a text file so fn uh, great in brackets then type in the let me create another variable and let be str 100 and now what this will do is read the um, sentences from text file and store it in str so actually it will be like my text my first text file or anything you've written out there will be stored in str and will be displayed in the loop so actually it's gonna read a word and display a word so I think that's pretty much it so now if I you can see my first text file um, well it forgot the spaces as you can see we have the spaces here also but it forgot to count the spaces so just type in here a space and now if I run the program you can see the spaces are equally distributed.